All right, thanks for joining us today. We're going to take a quick look at number 42 from Spider-Man and Venom Absolute Carnage Spot. He is coming in with the keywords Hydra, Modox 11, Magia, Sinister Syndicate, and Scientist. He has three traits. His first trait is when an adjacent friendly character with the Sinister Syndicate keyword is given a move action, they may replace their speed value with 10. His second one, second trait is phase and teleport. Phase and teleport is free, but half speed. Uh, so that trait gives him traded move and attack uh, because he can phase for five and then do whatever he wants to do after that. Move again, uh, do nothing or an attack. Okay, his third trait is flurry. When Spot makes a close attack, he may target an opposing character within four squares, regardless of adjacency. When an opposing character targets Spot with a close attack and misses, after resolution, deal that character one damage. A couple things to notice there while we have the uh, power in front of us. It's when he makes a close attack, he can do that to an opposing character within four regardless of adjacency. So no line of fire is required because close attacks don't require line of fire. And he can, uh, so that means he can target anybody within four. Uh, and that's pretty good. We're going to take a look on the map on how that can come into play. Uh, but that's extremely useful. Uh, with the phase and teleport as free, and then that flurry with close attacks, uh, within four squares, he should see a lot of play. Uh, that's a great ability. And then the things you could add to him or the way you can team him up to take full advantage of that trait, uh, there's a bunch of different things that can happen. Okay, looking at the back of his card, he is coming in at just 50 points for five clicks. He has the Sinister Syndicate team ability. His movement is... 10 across all the clicks. His defense is 18 across all the clicks. Uh, on the movement, it alternates between uh, stealth and force blast. He has no attack power on his dial, but remember he does have flurry on his trait. He has a 10 attack for the first three clicks and drop down to a nine after that. He has an 18 defense throughout the dial with super senses. And then his damage power alternates between outwit and shape change. Two damage on the first ones and then one damage on the last three clicks. Now there's gonna we're gonna demonstrate a way just with the who you team him up with that will be able to affect that damage value. Of course, you always have perplexes you could use, you have equipment you can put on him. He is indomitable and he has zero range. But remember, he has the free phasing and then the close attack uh, to anybody within four. All right, let's take a quick look on the battlefield of a couple different scenarios with Spot. On this setup, we have Spot over here. He is behind a wall, and this side of the wall is interior. And there's a four square quad of blocking terrain, and there's hindering terrain. Deathlock is behind that block in terrain. Right now, Spot has no line of fire to Deathlock, but he has the four reach uh, close attack. So one, two, three, four. He can close attack Deathlock from where he's at, relatively safe behind that wall. If Deathlock was here, he could still do that attack. Okay. The other part is the free move. So one, two, three, four, five. He could be all the way back here. Okay. So you would think that uh, your close attacker would not be able to get the death lock because right now he is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Death locks nine squares away. We can do our free phasing for five. 
So he could phase right through all of this block and terrain. And then he could make his flurry when he does the close attack. Then he's targeting through all of that to deathlock. So the flurry from four squares away from behind a wall and block and terrain. All right, for this setup, we have Deathlock over here again. He is behind that uh, interior. He's on the inside of this wall. There's block and terrain out here. There's hindering. There's elevation through all of these squares. So Spot is currently on the inside corner of a rim of elevated terrain. So no line of fire through there. And then uh, Hobgoblin is here with elevated terrain all around him. There's a, another uh, rectangle of block and terrain right there. So this one, uh, Deathlock is safe. Uh, usually this would be a safe position. He's inside. He's not on a straight diagonal. So it makes the line of fire for people doing run and shot. They'd have to get in uh, pretty close here to get a line of fire. Or they would have to waste an action to destroy some block and terrain. So usually a pretty safe spot as you move up the board. But on this one... Uh, we're going to see how Spot can move through those squares and still land the attack. On Hobgoblin, if you haven't seen what he does, he has a trait which is adjacent friendly characters with the Sinister Syndicate T keyword can use blades, claws, fangs. And as you remember, Spot has traded Flurry and that uh, phase in for free for half his speed. So in this type of setup, we could have Hobgoblin just move up. Uh, we'll have him fly right to here. Okay, and then we could phase spot five squares to this square behind all that block and terrain. And now he is adjacent to Hobgoblin. So that means he's picking up blades. So we would have... Flurry Blades, Deathlock's within four squares. So now Spot could Flurry Blades from where he's at, from behind all this blocking, from behind the wall, Flurry Blades into Deathlock. Okay, uh, another type of setup you could do with that same type of placement. If Deathlock was over one, so if Hobgoblin could get a line of fire, he does start with Running Shot has it on his top two clicks uh, so he could fly in here let's see he has a movement of 11 so he could go six and then shoot okay so that should be enough to get him onto this direct diagonal he would run and shot here taking the shot on deathlock we would phase five so one two three four five this again he would now be adjacent and he could do his close attack uh, close flurry blades into deathlock uh, the other thing that should be noted here is you'll remember that spot only has a 10 attack but he has the sinister syndicate team ability which is when this character makes an attack, you may replace its attack value with the printed attack value of an adjacent friendly character that can use this team ability. Hobgoblin, who has given him blades, also has that and an 11 attack. So now Spot would be doing flurry blades with an 11 attack from behind all of that uh, blocking and wall uh, terrain. All right, hopefully this uh, video gives you some ideas of how useful Spot could be and uh, how you can use him with some different pair-ups. Uh, we haven't even touched on the different types of equipment you could put on Spot to uh, pair up with those traits. So uh, in the comments below, let me know what kind of crazy combinations you might come up with using him. I expect to see him on a lot of teams, not only fun to play, but has some... Uh, potential for some pretty good team builds all right thanks for watching check it out if you dig what we do go ahead and like and subscribe thanks for watching